Hello lovely dears, welcome to this new Italian tutorial. This tutorial will be about the rooms in the house. So how we call the rooms in Italian. Now, let's start with the entrance hall. The um, entrance uh, in a house uh, in Italian is called ingresso and is male. So l'ingresso and to plural, gli ingressi. Now, uh, the kitchen in Italian is called la cucina, and is female. And uh, in the plural is le cucine. Now, um, the living room uh, is called soggiorno and uh, actually in Italian uh, we have two words to indicate the living room one is uh, il salotto so which is male and in the plural is salotti and then il soggiorno uh, il soggiorno is also male and the plural, if you want to use it, is i soggiorni, but of course it's not very common. Uh, now, there is a slight difference, but actually which applied mostly uh, to the past, so it's not so common anymore nowadays. Uh, but the difference uh, is that in the past, il salotto uh, was the better room where you could uh, host guests so, so we where you would have um, couch if you have good furniture um, so and so if, if you had visits there uh, there is well you would uh, make them sit and uh, so was a good room reserved for uh, when you had guests. Now, il soggiorno uh, was the, the living room where, you, where we, you would stay every day, so the room that you would use in everyday life. But uh, actually this difference, as I said, is not um, common nowadays, so uh, there's no difference anymore between il soggiorno and il salò. Now, uh, in Italian, we have actually also a third word for a sort of living room, uh, a room where you would host guests or host uh, parties, for example. Uh, now, this word is il salone, so it's also male, and in the plural is i saloni. Um, actually, this word um, indicates a big room so where you could uh, host parties for example this mostly uh, applies for the richest house so also in the past you know where you had these noble houses the rich houses uh, uh, organizing parties organizing dances and so this big room uh, is called il salone um, now um, going forward with the rooms of the house, um, the bedroom in Italian is called la camera da letto. So actually is the room for the bed, so the bedroom. And um, yeah, of course, if you want to make the plural, it's le camere. So that part changes. And then da letto. Da letto doesn't change because it's something that is hard to specify and so you don't make changes in the plural. Now, um, the bathroom in Italian is called il bagno. Uh, now, one important thing in Italian is not like uh, in other countries. Uh, where you have two separated uh, rooms, one for the toilet and one for 
the shower and and the washing basin uh, no in Italy is not like that so in Italy you have just one room with everything in it so you have one room with the toilet the, the basin the shower uh, the washing machine for example and uh, what in Italian we call the bidet uh, which of course is not found easily uh, outside of Italy but anyway see in Italy we have this uh, one room with everything sometimes in some houses uh, if they are big enough you can find more bathrooms um, but each of these bathrooms will have everything so each of the bathrooms we have a toilet we have a shower we have uh, a basin and a bidet um, so uh, in Italy we don't make this separation and uh, as I said in Italy it's also very common to find a bidet you find it in every bathroom uh, it is part of our uh, culture naturally for Italians it is a bit difficult to adapt themselves uh, when they go abroad that they actually don't find it um, but um, so going on uh, with the rooms of the house now the corridor in Italian is called il corridoio and this male so if you want to use the plural is i uh, and one more thing uh, in Italy, um, the, let's say the eating room, if you don't need the kitchen, actually in Italy we eat usually in the kitchen. Um, but if you want to say uh, the eating room, this was used in the past, or uh, yeah, nowadays mostly people eat in the kitchen. Um, but if you want to use it, in Italy we have a word and it's la stanza da pranzo so uh, actually the room for the lunch so on that's where you would find a big table where you could sit and eat uh, but actually well nowadays you just find uh, the big table in the in the living room so you eat in the living room if you have guests for example or for important occasions so that's it for this tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed it if you enjoyed it please give it a thumb up and uh, please subscribe to my channel if you uh, like my tutorials if you want to learn Italian and if you want to be notified also for other uh, videos that I uh, make such as the videos on the poetry uh, or the photo albums uh, and as always feel free uh, to leave any comment or any question and thanks for watching see you next tutorial ciao ciao